So this urinal is uh, it's an electricity generating urinal which is using the urine as the fuel. It's got the microbial fuel cell technology built in or just outside which is basically a device that, that converts the urine directly into electricity and we use it to light up the cubicle. It is definitely a first and we're very lucky to have it here this year, very excited. I mean, P-Power urinal, it's, for me, I think it's the future. What we've got here is, is our bigger urinal compared to the last one we, we had on our university campus. This is one that can take 12 people. It has got its own lighting and their urine comes straight out of the, of the cubicle into our cascade of uh, microbial fuel cell boxes. This is the way that we have been scaling up the technology. The electricity converted by the microbial fuel cells will be used to run the lights. Already it's one of the talking points just with the build crew. Um, everyone's talking about it, it's, called, you know, it's created a buzz, it's an interesting talking point. Toilets always are at this festival, but this one I think will top it. So what we hope to learn by bringing the technology to the Glastonbury Festival is understand the technology boundaries. Where will it break if it breaks? How much electricity can we generate in a week's time? What's the value of electricity we get for the volume of urine that we will receive? How does the, the cascade process work with all the different kind of unexpected uh, elements that we, we may have during the festival? And that's a learning curve for us. It's a, it's a lesson for us how we can advance the technology and the fact that we will be able to generate electricity from the waste we generate to power different types of electronic devices, different types of indoor and outdoor lighting, especially where there is no infrastructure for things like that.